Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you are able to join me for a few minutes today. And today I am going to attempt to do color street nails. Um, not sure how this is going to go. I am definitely not an expert at putting these on yet. It does take me a little bit longer than the average person because I am, uh, I'm just not coordinated. And I am filming outside today, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. I know sometimes natural light is not always the best for me because it does, um, I always got what, what side I'm pointing at, but my scars are going to show up a little bit more outside. But hey, you know, I'm just a real person like everybody else, and I certainly have my ton of flaws. But um, anyway, I am I am really excited about these color street nails. As you know, I'm, I am not a fan of getting uh, acrylic nails or or nails done professionally. I just, um, you know, it, it hurt. I don't like the added expense of, of it as well. Um, plus I, I have panic attacks and I'm really not cool with str strangers touching me. So I, I have, you know, certain issues that I have there. I did use the press on nails uh, for a couple of months uh, last year and I really, really loved the look, but they really ate at my nail beds and, um, and my nails are still trying to grow out and recover from that. So these just really seem to be a safe alternative for me. They come in so many uh, different colors. So I've got like a, a silver here. I've got like a pink shimmer here. And again, not, I cannot wait to try these, these ones. And I think when I do these uh, leopard print ones or cheetah print ones, um, in fact, I just ordered another set that's kind of similar to this, but a little sparkly. So I might wait for that one. And when I get that one, I might try to do a week of looks just using anything uh, with a cheetah or the leopard print. And, you know, this has got like purples and silvers and this is uh, like stars and moons. So just uh, so many different ones. And today I am going to be using, and I think I forgot to bring it out here. I was trying to decide which one I wanted to wear today. And I looked at the floor and every all of my other ones were put in a drawer already. And these ones were on the floor by my feet, so I thought, hmm, I think this one wants to be worn, so I'm going to have to go in the house. I, I know I picked it up off the floor, but I must have left it inside, so I'm going to grab that. And um, and then uh, the one of the consultants that I buy from, uh, Whitney, and I'll leave her links below as well, today she did a flash sale of some of her samples that she had, like glued to poster boards that she would uh, bring out to show. So the back of it had like the black poster board material. They were a little over or about a year old. So she was selling them all for like $5 a piece. So I got a couple of sets on during her flash sale. So I'm excited uh, for those. So I'll probably see those probably within a week or two. But one of the times that she was um, doing a sale on her Facebook page, she also was doing these little clip-ons and I, I didn't even know these things existed but uh, they're like little clips and so you'd uh, put your nail polish remover pads on there and then put these on go about your business leave them on for you know a couple of minutes come back take them off and just the uh, the polish just wipes off didn't even know these things existed but I guess they're all over the place but I lead a sheltered life here in Minnesota what can I say so anyway I'm gonna go get that and then get this started and we will see how it goes Alrighty, so I went back in and this is the one I'm going to be using. It's called Moon River. And while I was in the house, I opened it and, uh, and cut this open. So uh, you're going to get 16 of these strips and you can see the different sizes and you would just kind of match it up to, you know, your nail size. And um, plus, you know, some of them are going to be bigger than you need. So you can just kind of cut them down. You're going to get these little two of these little prep pads so you're just going to use those on your nails before you start make sure they're nice and clean and you also get this cute little emery board to do some quick filing so i am going to do quick uh, wipe off my nails and pull some strips out and then i'll show you how i do it all right so i've got my camera aimed down and i've uh, picked out the nails uh, that i'm going to use so um and i just kind of match them up to the size of my nails. Now some people with longer nails they're only going to be able to use one strip per nail but because mine are so short I can get do a whole hand with uh, both hands with uh, these five strips. So for me I've been able to get like at least three uses out of these. So I've got this 
this one. I'm going to start with my pinky. And as you can see, my nails are still in rough shape from having uh, used the press on nails, that glue. Uh, just it's bad news. So you still take off the back and then this clear item. And I'm not sure if you can see. I'm just going to put it down as far as I can to the cuticle. Whoops, it comes from some wind. And press it down. And then some people use uh, little nail scissors. I just use my fingers. I think I just butchered that one. My nail. And again, I'm just going to put it down like this. And there's my first nail done. So I'm going to do a couple more. I think I butchered this one. I don't know if I'll be able to use it on my other nail. But I'm going to give it a try because, you know, I'm good like that. So I'm going to take the uh, strip off, the back strip. And again, I'm just going to take my pinky and press this down. And if it's too big, I just kind of, whoops, I just ruined it, but it's still sticky. So I am going to tack that down, which is a very, very forgiving. Okay, so I tack that down. As you can see maybe you can see I don't know how this uh, working outdoors is going to go because I can't see my monitor and if it's still a little big just picking some of the excess off I can take that little nail file that I put away and just trim it around this so that is my first one done let me do one more and then I'll shut the camera off and do the rest of the nails. So now I'm going to go to my ring finger. And again, I'm just going to peel off the backing and the front. They're very staticky. And okay, I'm going to put it back to my cuticle. And some people, you know, do press their cuticles back before they start just to I'm put that on as good as I should have. Uh, so they are very forgiving to be able to move them around and stretch them. They are very sticky. And again, I'm just smoothing it down like this. And I'm not one for, I've never played with my cuticles, so I'm not about to start now, but I know some people are really good at pushing their cuticles back and just starting nice and fresh. I know that time that I did go to have my nails done, they did that and they, they bled and bled and bled. So there's that one, and I've got enough left on the other side if I don't tear it. And again, you just take off that little perforation. And got my ring finger on this side. I'm going to put it down to my cuticle. I accidentally hit the pause key. So put it down against my cuticle as far down as I can go. And if I go down a little too low, I can just always pick it off, put it back in place. Press it down, get a nice stick, and then again, I just I just use my fingernails to kind of bend it, cut off the excess, and then for that rough edge, I'll just use that little uh, file that they gave me. So I'm going to shut the camera off, finish this, and uh, come back and show you the finished nails. All right, so I've got all my nails done. I did go in and I just kind of trimmed and this is actually the one that I, I goofed on where when I pulled it off I split it in half and as you can see it it looks it looks fine I think with a solid color it would probably show a little bit more but I think um, with this, the sparkly kind the glitter kind um, it's a little bit more forgiving when you make errors um, so these are like $12 each when I buy them um, there I get um, by Three, you get one for free so that brings it down to like nine dollars a piece because my nails are so short I get three uses out of them so it's like three dollars every time I change my nails um, I just changed the ones that I put on that I took off today um, I had them on from last Saturday and they were due to come off they had were you know kind of uh, wearing off and had some chips in them so they lasted a week so a week for three dollars is good but the most that I've been able to keep one of these on and have them look fine is two weeks um, so I'm I'm really happy with these so you can maybe see a little bit better 
I think as my thumbnails uh, start to grow out, I'm not going to be able to use that same one. But I, I still, when I use them three times, I've got extras that I throw out, but it's not enough to keep unless I, I should probably just buy another set with the same color and then I can keep doing it. I, I know that when they do kind of dry out, when you take them out and you cut them open, but because I want to reuse them and really get my money's worth, I put them in like a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. I take them out, I just kind of press them behind, uh, between my hands like that, just to kind of warm them up and get them activated again. And then they go, go on just as good as the first time. So anyway, I'm really happy with these Color Street nails. And, uh, and again, I wasn't going to buy from Whitney again this time because it was my turn to buy from Nicole. But she did a flash sale on her Facebook page, which is really cool about getting these girls on your Facebook page because that's when they, they, you know, they do some specials that draw your attention. And she was getting rid of some samples and some ones that were almost like a year old for five dollars so i i watched her facebook live and typed in as quick as i could to, oh i want this i want this i want this so i am going to be getting a few more for five dollars which is each which I, I don't think you can beat especially if i'm going to get three uses out of them it's it's you know going to be about a dollar and change to uh change for the week so i'm going to link uh both nicole and whitney's information below if I can figure out how to, and Whitney, oh my God, she is hysterical. Um, I'm going to link her YouTube page to how this lady has not gone viral. I don't know. She is a hoot. She does uh, the nails when she's in character. She's done like Miranda. She pretends to be an aunt, something from Wisconsin, and she's just gets the accent down pat, and she's from Boston area. So it's just really funny to watch. So if I know how to put the link right on this page I'll try that but if not I'll definitely put it in my description to my subscribers thank you so much for joining me tonight I hope that this uh, outside video came out okay for you I just you know you just spend the, the winter inside so when you get to go out I'm so jealous when I get to when I watch Robin in Robin's closet and she's always filming outside and she's got these nice palm trees behind her and just uh, just beautiful so Hopefully I'll have some uh, lush green behind me pretty soon. And um, anyway, so uh, again, thank you to my subscribers for watching. I wouldn't be able to keep up with my videos without your help and your support. I truly appreciate it. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you subscribe before you go. This is really my first uh, Color Street nail one, so bear with me as I try to figure this out. And hit that little red subscribe button on the bottom right here. And uh, please give this video a thumbs up up your comments are always welcome and we will chat again soon because i did get my fashion box in today and i'm still working on finishing up my mix and match video so anyway i hope everyone goes out has a fantastic day and we will chat again soon